Okay, to begin with, so to begin with, we'll look at how to create a project folder. So always and always, you create one project folder for every project. So technically, over here, everything is flat files. So in Clipio, there's nothing like server, separate server thing. I mean, whatever you do on the desktop development is right. Similarly, you do it on the server also. So you start with a, with creating a project folder. So first thing you create an overall project folder. Our project is nothing but adventure works. So I have the adventure works. You create a main project folder. Under this you create subfolders. So there are a couple of folders that you'll have to create so that you create I mean uh, you store those appropriate files in those folders. To begin with, the first folder is basically the extractor folder. So we'll go in the sequence of this. So the, we'll go in this sequence only. So extractor transformation data model. So first folder will be the extractor folder. This will have the extractor file in it. So you store an extractor file, extractor folder. Then you create an QED folder. So all the extractor all the QVDs that are extracted from the database right are stored into the QVD folder then you create a data model folder the data model will be here then you create an application folder these are the four main folders that we will have to have even if you have the transformation right, you can do it here only extractor or you can create extractor one, extractor two, or you can just keep it like this. Now along with this you'll have a couple of other folders. One is a script file folder. So this will have all the QVS scripts. If you remember I told right, QVS is a script format. You can store all the common scripts in this particular folder. Right. Then you can have an another uh, external data. So what will happen is extractor will extract data from the database, data source, files and all. Now you'll have some Excel file, you might have some Excel file in a project, right? So the user, the business users might tell you, okay, my data is in this Excel file, please use it from this Excel file. In that scenario, you don't have to store the Excel file elsewhere or just struggle. You can just put that everything into this folder. So this, you can put that into the external data. Along with this, you can have a config file config file in which uh, you can store some configurations like commonly used paths, variables, all those things can be stored in a config file. So technically these are seven kind of mandatory folders or seven required folders for any project. So you have to have these kind of folders and you'll have to use them appropriately. Now when, why do we have these kind of folders or what we do is everything we work in relative parts. So you store the application, okay, you store the external, so extractor, the extractor will store all the QVDs in this QVD folder. So it, the logic we'll set is, it will be more dynamic in nature. It won't be hard coded, that it won't work from C drive. It will just be a relative path from extractor to QVD, QVD to data model, data model to application. So we'll see that while we're doing it. What that enables is easy deployment on the server. So when you move it, move this file to the server, right? You don't do anything. You don't move individual. You don't really hard work on changing any configuration. You just take this entire folder, place this onto the server, and start off with it. Like uh, you can immediately just schedule jobs. The reason being, everything will be relative parts. There'll be no hard coded parts anywhere. So that's so. This is the folder structure requirement.